Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back to KSN News at 10. His career in the Air Force began in the early days of jet bombers. KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer introduce us to him on tonight's Veteran Salute. I had it in my head that millions had gone through before me and I could make it. Airman Dick Helzer got his start as a jet engine mechanic. As part of a five-man crew, Helzer worked to maintain 60 B-47s at the former Schilling Air Force Base in Salina. Planes would come in from Africa and engines would be burned up running out of gas. We could take an engine in in the morning at 10 o'clock and by the time we went home at night, we took it all the way down and had it ready to go to test cell. In his spare time, Helzer would help test jet engines. So I'd get out there and they say, you see Helzer coming around the runway yet? Yeah, he, he's on runway. Well, we're already there, and I was we're helping him hook up the engines. Some tests running more smoothly than others. And I was a two-striper, and I was running tests all the night by myself with a three-level, and I caught it on fire. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Helzer's superiors recognizing his potential, pushing the young airman to further his career when he considered ending it. And I was talking about getting out, and they were ribbing me all the time. You're going to get, yeah, I ain't re enlisting this outfit. So, oh, what the heck was his name? He said, uh, Helzer, if you're not going to re-enlist, you're not going to spare analyzer school. So I had to admit I was going to re-enlist. <laughs> Helzer would continue to test aircraft engines at Schilling until the base closed in 1965. He then moved on to tankers and bombers at both Mather and Walker Air Force Base, at times working on a plane mid-flight. Oh, we'd fly 10 or 12, 13 B-52s and that many 135s every day out of there. But I got to go on a B-52 once from Mather to Puerto Rico and back, about 40, 50,000 feet, and just smooth and quiet. After making staff sergeant, Helzer was assigned to go to Vietnam. I said, well, i got to go now because my brother was already there. Stationed near Saigon, Helser's skills would be put to the ultimate test, working on jet engines around the clock. We worked 12, 12-hour 12 days seven days a week when I first got there. No, we didn't have a lot of experience and well, that was Booker. We flew them F-4s or F-4s. Our F-4C is a reconnaissance bird. You know, we had RF-101s, RB-57s, C-123 K models, which had the little jet engines on them. And they also fray, sprayed uh, foliage. After his tour of Vietnam, Helzer would be stationed at Offutt Air Force Base in Omaha for the next seven years. That was the best duty you could ever have. We were manned 24-7. Mm -hmm. See, we had looking glass airplanes, and one couldn't land until one took off. After attending an NCO academy in Alabama, Helzer came back to a tough challenge on base. When we had an inspection, and the test cell went unsatisfactory rating. So I told the branch chief, I said, I want that test cell. And I got the first outstanding rating on a test cell in SAC in 18 months. Helzer eventually becoming the engine shop chief. After short stints at McConnell, the Philippines, and Dias Air Force Base in Texas, Helzer retired. 20 years, six months, and four days. Got to show you I can't do it, and you got to document it. I said, by that time, I'll retire. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, Senior Master Sergeant Dickie Helzer. Thank you so much for your service. You're welcome. Thank you. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.